Okay, yes, I'm changing the name of a series midway through. No, you cannot stop me. The name is better. Thank you, AJ. Welcome and happy Friday to the next episode, or first episode, if you get hung up on names, of Faction Fridays. We're continuing our Wednesday afternoon worship episode this week. Did you miss it? Follow this card right up here. Learn all about what might happen if Razmir became a true, all-powerful god. For now, this episode of Faction Fridays is all about the Church of Razmir. If you're liking what you're seeing, like, subscribe, ding the bell. If you have a request, throw it in the comments. As you guys know, it's been real crazy here at Black Dragon Gaming, and today's episode of Faction Fridays was brought to you in part by the man responsible for Tier 9, the Salt Elemental himself, Tiki3 the Artificer. Thanks for your help, man. Now, let's hit it. So here's another card for you. Follow it right here. A little bit of knowledge of Rasmarin goes a long way on this video because those who live within the bounds of Rasmarin, the bounds of the land of the living god, do in fact know that living god's power. Rasmir makes his presence felt through demands of fealty, tithing, and the less than gentle hands of his most devout subjects, those of course being the Razmirin clergy. These guys roam the lands, spreading word of the power of Razmir, using that power, of course, to convince the unfaithful of their misplaced loyalties and other gods, other governments, and again, we're just 110% passing out the Kool-Aid. The followers of Razmir all look the same behind that faceless white mask, and these guys truly are the hand of the deity. From behind these masks, the priest judges all he sees, meeting out the harsh justice in the name of his deity that would be required when you're trying to convert a bunch of people to your faith. Of course, there are many that doubt the powers of the clergy, which are fair considering Razmir's not a real god, he's literally just faking it, and so it's up to the Razmirian priest to make sure that the fools who would call Razmir false learn the error of their ways by, you know, smiting the heretics. Of course, the clergy of Razmir does not entirely include the priests, but it's only the priests that are profiting here. Everyone else exists to tithe to the church, and those who have proven their loyalty with, you know, Kool-Aid drinking powers are allowed to benefit from it, living in opulence while everyone else starves. But to get to that point, a devotee who wants to become one of the priests of Razmir must undergo a lengthy ritual in the capital of Razmir and Throne Step. It's said that Razmir himself conducts the final steps of the ritual, blessing the new priest and judging his or her purity, and those who are found worthy emerge from this secret, mysterious process as absolute believers, while those deemed inadequate kinda just disappear. A newfound Razmirin priest finds themselves on a quick path to power, prestige, and wealth, and it's not long before someone who takes the Razmirin Priest Prestige class rises even higher in power within the church. And that's how we do it. The easiest way to be a member of this faction on Galarian is to take the Prestige class. You'll need the false casting feat from Inner Sea Magic, 5 ranks in Bluff and UMD. You need to be able to cast 3rd level Arcane spells. You must be of non-good alignment, and you must travel the Throne Step to undergo a special ritual where your character's faith in Razmir will be tested in return. More or less, you're passing out temporary hit points that look like divine spells. You get access to a couple of domains in terms of powers, not spells. You can sniff out truth-detecting magic, you can channel temporary hit points looking like channel energy, and you get this sweet, sweet mask. What more do you want, right? Now, bringing this faction into your game is about as easy as bringing any cult into your game, even if you're not on Galarian, except for one big caveat. That is to say, unless you use the homebrew stuff we kicked up, Razmir is not a true deity. The priests of Razmir basically exist to propagate a lie. The priests of Razmir destroy anyone who might, you know, sniff out the truth and make sure those that have not, you know, just kind of become sheep in the flock. Whether this shows up in the middle of a big city somewhere and through the power of arcane magic people are rapidly falling for stuff, or whether this shows up in the form of, oh, a small town somewhere, 
slowly just kind of falls off the face of the earth and then you, the adventuring party, has to go in and realizes the entire town has committed suicide from drinking poison or the cult trope of your choice, it's not hard to staple it in there. Now, what I will say is difficult is bringing the cult of Razmir into a party of, you know, anyone who worships literally anything else. This is probably the most destructive deity in terms of party cohesion that I've ever seen unless the whole squad is on board, right? Say there's a fighter who's really into Erastal. It's your job to make him abandon his faith to say nothing of a druid, cleric, paladin, so on and so forth, right? You're literally messing with people's character sheets to exist in the party at that point. But that said, being either a player or a GM in a party of true believers of the faith has its own appeal, if for no other reason than it becomes a little difficult, size categories and things like that aside, to tell each other apart as you're moving through something along the lines of an intrigue setting. The Mask of Razmir brings with it a lot of power, it also brings with it anonymity, which is power unto itself. The possibilities there are pretty endless, but that's all I have to say about that. What do you guys think of the Cult of Razmir? Have you fought them? Have you joined them? How would you add them to your setting? Throw it in the comments. As always, we will keep that conversation a rolling, and thank you guys so much as always for your continued support. Thanks for watching. The next episode of Faction Fridays drops next, mm, probably, you know, Friday.